Hi guys, my adlaw. So I'm back after three days. Nga wala ako upload ng videos kaya na busy ko sa among webinar sa math sa among division. Now balik tas sa atong business continuation about logarithm. So balik ah sumpay sa atong logarithm. So previous video I presented about writing. Exponential equation to logarithmic equation and vice versa, writing logarithmic equation to exponential equation. Um, this topic is about the laws of logarithm. Then, so not only is evaluate, evaluating logarithms or um, solving logarithmic equations. So, this is a prerequisite skill for the next topic, which is about solving logarithmic equations. So, this is very important loss of logarithm. So, before we proceed, ari sa atas sa mga objectives. Okay, number one, at the end of this video, you should be able to explain the different loss of logarithm. And number two, we write a single logarithm into expanded form and vice versa. Writing an expanded logarithm to single logarithm. Then, we need our knowledge for this topic. We need our knowledge on the loss of logarithm. Then, number two, our knowledge on solving exponential equations. Okay, again, sumpay rin sila ang exponential and logarithmic. Okay? So, to proceed, ari sa ta sa iyang mga law. So, for this uh, for this presentation, I have presented here three laws of logarithm. Okay, so that is if b, m, and n are positive real numbers, and b remember b should not be equal to one, and x is any real number. These laws shall apply. Unsa mga mga balaod? For this specific law, we have the product law, the quotient law, and the power law. So, how do we understand the product law? For example, mo ni ang atong i sundon sa pag expand sa logarithm, then from expanded to single logarithm. So, kini sila dire dapita mo ni sila ang mga single logarithm. Then kini sila dire dapita mo ni sila ang expanded form. So, mo ni atong sundon. These are the law that we need to follow sa atong lesson karon sa mga examples nato later. So for example, you are given log of mn base b. Remember, magtupad ganig na two variables magtupad. That means the operation is multiplication. The operation of m and n is multiplication. That means m times n. That is why this is called the product law. So, if we are given uh, expressions like this, this can be expanded and this can be written as log of n base b plus log of n base b. If we have to use the product law, the operation here is positive or the operation is plus. Then the opposite, the, the quotient law, of course, Kung multiplication na siya dira ganina in between M and N, this time, the quotient law is on, of course, division. That is M divided by N or M over N. So, this is a single logarithm. If we are going to write this expression to expanded form, we can write this one as log of M base B. This time, since this is quotient law, we will use minus. Log of N base B. Okay, for the power law, when I say power law, this talks on the exponent. So, for example, a single logarithm is given, log of m raised to x. Okay, so our exponent here is x. When we write this one into expanded form, we can place the x first. So, meaning, mag-una na siya x, na 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 siya mag-una dari sa log. So, this can be written as x log of m base b. So, kini silang tulumuan niya ito i-follow sa ato mga examples karon. So, have to remember product law, quotient law, and power law. These are the process. Maunis sila atong sundun yung mga balaod. 
Okay, let's proceed to our examples. Write the following logarithms to expanded form. Aris ata sa mga simple examples. Number one. Given log of 2y base a. Okay, the operation between 2 and y is multiplication. Ito pad mo is lang ka. Log of 2y base a. Therefore, since this is multiplication, when we expand this single logarithm, we will use the plus. Therefore, this can be written as log of 2 base a plus log of y base a. So, this is multiplication. The operation sa expanded form is plus. The operation in, the, in our expanded form is plus. So, second example. So, so, this is multiplication. This time, we have x over y base 2. Log of x over y base 2. Of course, it's very clear that this is quotient. So, we will apply the law on quotient. So, this is plus ganina. Since this is multiplication, therefore, quotient, we will use minus. So, log of x, this can be written as log of x base 2. This quotient, so we use minus. So, log of y base 2. It's not a final answer. Next, for example, we are given this expression. Log of m cubed base 10. This time we have m cubed. We have the exponent 3. So, we will use the power law. So, the 3 here, mag -una. So, we can write this one as 3 log of m base 10. So, ang 3 nag -una na. Okay, next example. Still write the following logarithms to expanded form. Given this example. Log of 5y over 7 base x. This time, this is now a combination of multiplication and division because the operation between 5 and y is multiplication, then that is over 7. So, duha naka law ang atong apply ani the law on the law on product and the second is the quotient law. First things first is we need to apply the quotient law, and afterwards we need to apply the product law. Therefore. We can write this expression as in expanded form applying the quotient law. So we have the minus. Wala pa na to gi apply ang product law. Atong gi una is ang quotient law. So we have log of 5y base x minus log of 7 base x. This time, we need to apply the product law. Therefore, this can be written as log of 5 base x plus log of y base x. Then copy minus log of 7 base x. So this is now the final answer. Now let's proceed to the next example. This time we are given a combination of a product law and the power law. Kanina, the product law and the quotient law. So therefore, we perform first the product law then afterwards the power law. So this is the multiplication, this is multiplication, log of 2 times x plus 1 quantity raised to 3 base 4. So we will apply the product law. So we have log of 2, log of 2 base 4 plus log of x plus 1 quantity cube base 4. Then we have here the power 3 or the exponent 3. We will apply the power law. So, kining 3, maaari na sa tubangan. Therefore, we can have, we will just simply copy log of 2 base 4. Then, kining 3, mabutang na sa tubangan. So, this becomes 3 log of x plus 1 base 4. So, this is now the final answer. Okay, next. Right? Still, write the following lower attempts to expanded form. Log of 4 times the cube root of x plus 2. This time, this is multiplication. The operation between 4 and this radical is multiplication. So since this is multiplication, so we will apply the, the product law. So when we apply the product law, this becomes log of 4 base y plus, so ato rin 
log of 4 base y plus log of the cube root of x plus 2 base y. Now, kini, since this is uh, radical, we need to change this one to exponential. Kini radical ato ni ilis to exponential. So, when we change this one to exponential, kining 3 dira, kining 3 ng index, ari na sa denominator, kini nani siya exponent nga 1. So, we can write this one as, simply copy log of 4 plus, so, ang index niya, this is, this is now the base, x plus 2, x plus 2 is the base, so ang iyang exponent will be 1 third. So, kining 3, gika ni diri sa iyang index niya, kining 1, gika ni sa asyong exponent niya diha. Okay, so when we write this one to exponential, mahi mo ng x plus 2 quantity raised to 1 third. Now, so exponential naman na, so we will apply the power law. So, copy, log of 4 base y plus, so ang iyang 1 third, yun apply naman sa power law, mo ari na diri sa unahan. So, may ng 1 third log of x plus 2 base y. So, this is now the final answer. By the way, Kining 4, since pwede pa man ma, pwede pa man ma factor out 2 times 2. So, pwede ni siya mahimong log of 2 base y plus log of 2 base y. Pero, pwede rin sa nang yun ano. Okay. Next. Still, write the following logarithms to expanded form. Okay. This time, na nasay radical multiplication over r cube. Okay. So, unahon na to ang quotient law. So, we have copy log of the numerator log of 2 times the square root of n base m. We apply the, the quotient law, so minus log of r cube base m. Okay. Afterwards, we will apply the product law between 2 and the square root of n and then we will apply the power law para ani. So, mahimo ni log of 2 base m plus log of the square root of n base m. So, atong gibuwag ang 2 and the square root of n. Then, we simply copy log of r cube base m. Pwede rasa na siya na ito edit so di ha. Kining 3, pwede sa mauna di ra. Pero, pwede rasa na siya edungan ani. So, Copy, log of 2, ato ning i-change ang square root of n to exponential, parehas kinina. So, copy, log of 2 base m, copy plus, copy, log of m, ang square root of n to exponential, that is, n raised to 1 half. Then, minus log of r cube base m. Again, kani, pwede rin siya mga dungan dira. So, karun, idungan na to, kining log of 2, copy, log of 2 base m, so, ang 1 half ng exponent, maaari na sa atubangan. So, 1 half log of n. So, wala na siya eh. Exponent niya. Then, minus 3 log of r base n. So, this is now the final answer. Okay, next example. This time, baliho na to. We will do the reverse. So, ganina from singular grade to expanded form. This time, we will be, you are you are given an expanded form, and we will change this one to single logarithm. So, karun, na atay plus, na atay minus, na atay 2, which is power. So, combination is sa tulog ka law. So, what we need to do first is to perform una ang product law. Okay, uwahin na nato i-perform ang quotient law. So, kay product law mani, meaning plus mani, product law logarithm, Kining 5 of kining b plus 2 is i-multiply na siya. So, copy log of a. Okay, log of multiply 5. Okay, nalayo ni siya. Copy log of 5 base a. So, 5 times we apply the product law. So, 5 times b plus 2 base a. Copy minus Kini, gi-apply na to ang, gi-apply na to ang power law. So, 2 becomes the exponent of 3. So, log of 3 squared base A. 
So final answer would be we will apply the quotient law here. We have log of 5 times b plus 2 over 9. So asa manigay ko ang 9? From 3 squared. Kaya pwede mo na ito masimplify 3 squared. And kinisad 5 times b plus 2. Pwede sa din natin i-distribute ang 5 to the terms inside the parentheses. So we have 5 times b, 5 times 2. But this is a, 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 this is our final answer. Okay, next. Example, still write the following into single logarithm. So we are given an expanded form. This time we have the ln. When you say ln, that is natural logarithm. Mura na dyan kung maura dyan ang iyang law atong i-follow sa logarithm kay logarithm na magyan mo na siya. Uh, product law, quotient law, and the uh, power law. So, still, parehas gyan po na siya o mga laws na atong i-sundun. So, the natural logarithm. So, 1 half, the natural logarithm of x minus 1 third, the natural logarithm of y. Again, this is 1 half, this is 1 third. So, meaning, nag-una man na siya sa atong logarithm. When we change this one to single logarithm, we will apply the power law. So, 1 half becomes the exponent of x and 1 third becomes the exponent of y. Then, the minus becomes divide. So, pwede ni siyang L, the natural logarithm of x raised to 1 half. So, we, we apply na to ang power law. The natural logarithm of x raised to 1 half minus the natural logarithm of y raised to 1 third. This time, quotient. So, we can write this one as the natural logarithm of x raised to 1 half over the natural logarithm of y raised to 1 third. Pwede sa din to i-change to back, balik sa iyang radical. Kato ganina ang example na to. So, inig-radical na, mahimu unang the natural logarithm of the square root of x over cube root of y. Kung kini nga answer, pwede rasa na siya or kini pwede rasa na siya. Next, example. Write the following still into single logarithm. Okay. Log of 4 base 2 plus log of 7 base 2. Sa yun rani. So, plus mana. So, this is product law. We can write this one as log of 4 times 7 base 2. When we multiply 4 times 7, that is 28. So, log of 28 base 2. Final answer. Next, log of x plus 4 minus 3 log of x. So, naanam tayo 3 diha. So, ato na ibutang diri sa exponent. This becomes log. We just simply copy log of x plus 4 minus the log of x cube. So, ang imong 3 na himunang exponent. Karon, this is minus. We will apply there. We will apply quotient law. So, therefore, we can write this one as log of x plus 4 over x cube. Okay, I hope you are following. Next. Write the following still into single logarithm. Given. This is our last example. 5. Log of x plus 1 base 5 minus 2 times log of x plus 2 base 5. So, we will apply the, product, the power law. The 5 becomes the exponent here and the 2 becomes the exponent here. So, mahimo ni log of x plus 1 raised to 5 base 5. Copy lang sa ang minus. Log of x plus 2 raised to 2 base 5. Then, minus, we will apply the quotient law. Therefore, this becomes log of x plus 1 quantity raised to 5 over x plus 2 quantity raised to 2. So, this is now the final answer. Then, kung na may na naligan, balik, balik ka lang, ipospose lang, then, kung na-achieve mo na, dila, wala na sabtan, comment down below para ako ang ma mahatagan o answer ang inyong mga questions kung makaya o answer. Okay? So, for now, try answering this practice exercise. Karam. Okay, write the following into single logarithm. So, duha lang. 
you are given the expanded form and write this write this one into single logarithm then second you are given the single logarithm then you are to write this into expanded form okay i hope you have learned something bisa ginagmay 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 naara may makatunan magbalik balik Hopefully, balik-balik kong practice sa mga ganyang mga. Kung naa may mga nag-struggle mo sa mga at mga nag-hate you ng mga, makalearn na mo someday in the future. Inahinay lang. For now, thank you and God bless.